This is going to be the first of two lectures about the fate of the universe, and really the remaining ones are actually all about the fate of the universe. When we're talking about the fate of the universe, we're really looking at one question. What is going to happen to the expansion of the universe in the future? Um, so there's various scenarios that we might imagine. For instance, you might imagine that for some reason, the expansion is going to turn around and the universe is going to collapse back on itself. And we end up, if we started with a big bang, maybe we end up with what you might consider a big crunch. Everything comes back together. Maybe you would think that the expansion is going to continue, but over time that expansion is going to slow down gradually. Maybe you would think that the expansion could continue and it's just going to do the exact same thing it's doing now and keep doing that forever. Or we could even have a situation where the expansion continues and the expansion accelerates over time. There's sort of these four scenarios that you could possibly imagine um, different speeds happening with the expansion. So what governs which of these is going to happen? Well, that depends on the amount of gravity. Basically, we have a certain amount of energy in the expansion caused by the Big Bang. But there's also gravity, and gravity likes to pull things together. So you've got one force that's pulling things apart, and another one that's trying to push them back together. And we have a battle of which of these is going to win. If gravity is too big, then we will have gravity win and recollapse the universe. If gravity is pretty strong but not that strong, you might slow down the expansion, but you can't actually stop it. If gravity is a little bit weaker yet, then we just keep going the way we're going, and if the expansion is really, really strong and gravity is really, really weak, we would accelerate. Actually, this would require a third force or a third source of energy to actually cause the acceleration. What that would be, we don't really know, but Let's suppose it's a possibility anyway, we'll throw it out there just in case. So, four possibilities. And again, the fate of the universe is governed by how much gravity there is. And gravity, we know, is determined by density. The denser something is, the more gravity it has. That's why black holes have so much gra gravity, is because they're extremely dense. There's a certain magic number called the critical density. And that is the number that would be needed to exactly stop the expansion and not cause recollapse. It would just sometime in the future actually stop the expansion. It doesn't collapse, it doesn't expand anymore, it just stops and stays the same size. And for that to happen, the average density of the universe would have to be 10 to the minus 29 grams per centimeter cubed. That's a very, very, very small number. But you think about all of the many, many light years worth of space where there is absolutely nothing. And so you combine that with places where the density is much higher. And on average, the density of the universe is actually very, very small. This is not unrealistic. If the density is more than the critical density, that's when we have a lot of gravity. And that's when we would get this sort of recollapsing scenario. If the density is less than the critical density, we expand forever. And so then we get down to a question of how do we study the density? Do we study it? We can study it by trying to figure out the mass of the universe. We kind of know the volume of the universe because we know how big the universe is, and you sort of say, well, pretend it's a sphere, and do 4 thirds pi r cubed, so you've got the volume of space, you can just do the mass of everything in space divided by the volume of space, and you get the density. You can also study the geometry, and we'll talk more about the geometry in the next lecture, so just sort of hold on to that thought that the geometry is part of what's going to govern this. I'm going to take us now to sort of a chart that um, that lists all of the different things. Uh, we're going to come back to this chart in another lecture, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing right now. But just to sort of sum up what we've got so far. There's four scenarios, and these are the names that are used. We have the recollapsing universe, which is also called the closed universe. And that's the one where we have that very, very high density, huge amounts of gravity, and gravity actually overcomes the expansion and causes a recollapse and a big crunch. There's one where we expand forever except that we eventually stop. 
and that's exactly equal to the critical density. So we expand for a long time and then we stop. Another one is called coasting or open. That's the sort of expanding forever kind of situation at a decelerating rate, but or maybe even at the same rate, but we expand forever. That's a less than critical density. So in this case, the expansion is winning out over gravity. Gravity is not strong enough to overcome that expansion and make it stop and turn around. And then finally, we have the accelerating universe. And in that case, we expand forever at an accelerating rate. And the density can be anything in that case, because if we have an accelerating universe, there's some mysterious unknown force that we really actually don't know what it is. But if that force is big enough, then it could overcome any kind of gravity if you make it big enough. It could, so it doesn't matter what the density of the universe is in the accelerating universe, you can get that in any situation as long as this force that causes the acceleration is big enough. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the evidence for these things in the next lecture and also about the geometry of the universe.